Continuing on from that side of things, just to continue on from it, I felt this was one of the funniest parts of the whole entire thing. For me, this is one of the most funniest parts of this whole entire thing. So, I've really had a bit of a bee in my bonnet, a bee in my bonnet about fucking Elliot Wilson from Rap Radar. He's always fucking got on, the, got on my nerves. And I think a lot of it has to do with that kind of, um, is it, is that, there's this, um, there's this, um, Carl Jungian thing, right? Where he basically says, Carl Jung basically says like, if you hate somebody for something, it's usually because you see something in yourself. You see that, that thing that you hate in them in yourself. So maybe with, with Elliot Wilson, because he's so unapologetically a lick ass and a networker and somebody that gets off of like being friends with certain people and being a part of the industry and being a gatekeeper. And that's the complete opposite of what I am as a person. And I like to do stuff on my own. I don't like to ask for favors. I don't want to network. I don't want to do, you know what I mean? I'm a bit on my own sort of thing. Yo, big up, um, Abe Martinez. Big up, big. Giving my car a bath listening smiley face ha <laughs> big up big up big up thank you brother appreciate you um i think because of because of my um thank you for the super chat brother honestly appreciate that because of all of that i feel like that's what sometimes i get annoyed when i see fucking elliot wilson because i know there are parts of me that maybe there's probably a deep deep part of me that wishes i could do that kind of like ha ha he he smooching rubbing elbows shaking hands kissing baby type of shit and maybe i feel like in my head oh if i did that maybe i'll be a bit i would be a bit further in my career and the stuff that i wanted to do outside of my nine to five maybe i'm not too sure either way I've always flipping disliked the guy and I thought he's a fucking try hard. And I've just, just kind of disliked the fact that he kind of tried to paint himself as to be the kind of the premier flipping hip hop journalist that's out there, right? Just got on my nerves a bit. So all of this to say, um, out of, no out of nowhere, but I'm thinking more so because of that Bobby Althoff girl, Elliot Wilson went on Twitter and said the following, moment of clarity, no disrespect to little boat. Yeah, his combo with the boy was comfy, the boy being Drake, and had some cool moments. I was more so clowning the comedy shenanigans with outsiders from, to our culture. It would be great to hear Drake speak to us again, even if it ain't me. So essentially, Elliot Wilson is crying and complaining that that Bobby Althoff girl got an interview with Drake before he did. Even though he got one of the more longer in-depth interview with Drake a few years back. I think when he did Views from the Six or something, I think Drake sat down with... Um, B dot who's another fucking spang and elliot wilson and they had one of those kind of hip-hop interviews about legacy and all this sort of shit right cool whatever safe but i actually think it's quite refreshing that drake is number one on the button with what's new and what's current and the interviewing and sitting down with people like a boy out of who's maybe got i think like four or five bits of content out there isn't that well known but if you're part of the culture and you're on the internet and you know wild one you know that she's doing bits so it's kind of plugged in i'd love to see that right cool whatever it may be and from an artist point of view it makes more sense to go and sit down with her because it's less exhausting you're not going to be stressing and straining to make sure you say the right thing or to say this or say that or say your piece on BLM or talk about this other police brutality thing or this race issue or this baby mama drama or this beef. It's just it gets exhausting after a while. You just want to sit down and shoot the shit and have a bit of fun, catch your LOLs and keep it moving. So I actually understand why they go there. But for these hip hop journalists, guys, they actually think they're still gatekeepers. They think their scene of the industry is still the same where we need these old fucking farts that still be doing this. And actually, if you think about it, if you actually deep it, the fact that Drake is going to that Bobby Althoff girl is actually a good thing because it means it gives the youth a chance. So platforms like Montreality, I feel like should be getting Drake interviews before Elliot Wilson. In my personal opinion, I'd rather see Drake sit down with fucking Montreality, right? Or Boba Lamb or something, right? Or fucking, um, who's the other guy um, from... Um, our next generation whatever it's called right i'll rather him with hakeem i'd rather drake sit down with hakeem and those type of dudes than sit down with elliot wilson because those guys are young those guys are current those guys are plugged in uh, those guys actually like drake as an artist right they're not act, you know they're fucking fans so it'd be nice to see him sit down with people that actually give a fuck about what he does and care and maybe you know we'll break down lyrics and go through fucking b-sides and arcs about you know fucking leaks and singles that never drops and videos and rumored collaborations that would be fucking interesting to hear i don't want to hear about a beef and all the other shit and about the fucking ghost writing stuff and about this and about meek mill and about no we're fucking bored of it leave us alone so i like the fact that 
that interview triggered a person like Ellie Wilson because I've always thought he's a fucking weapon. I've always thought he's a bit of a spang and in my opinion, everything that I would hope not to be. in this Because the, the thing about Ellie Wilson, he's had an amazing run. You know, double XL, all that fucking shit. Rap Radar. He's got the fucking association with Jay Z. He's on fucking Rock Nation, basically. He's got the fucking stupid paper plane hat somewhere in his fucking bedroom, right? Like, you're locked. You've got a job for life. You go to Rock Nation brunches and shit. You go to the fucking all white party. You're nice. You're locked in. Like, you've had a good run. You're in your fucking 50s now. Move aside and let the other, let the young bucks in and let them do their thing. But clearly, they don't want that. They'd rather just, just stand there and just fucking hold the microphone. So the funniest thing from that, the funniest thing from that was this next slide, right? So after him throwing his toys out the plan about Drake and being like all butthurt that he didn't get the interview, the funniest thing happened. Guess what happened in the fucking following couple of days? Elliot Wilson went to fucking Rolling Loud Miami. Elliot Wilson, for some reason, had a rap radar booth or whatever, maybe, at Rolling Loud fucking Miami, the home of the fucking Gen Z, the home of the kids, where the entire lineup is made of artists who most people under 30 love and most people over 30 hate. He went to fucking Rolling Loud Miami and, and was roaming around doing fucking interviews. And he did an interview with fucking Trippy Red just after his fucking set. Do you think fucking um, Elliot Wilson can name you fucking five Trippy Red songs? Do you think he even likes him as a fucking artist? But here he is trying to hang on for dear life and be a part of the conversation. So it was fucking awesome to see Drake call him out in the comments. And I think the original picture or the original clip came from Academics' comments. So big up DJ Academics because, you know, Drake basically replied to one of his stories. So that means that Drake actually does know that DJ Academics is alive and exists because for the longest time it felt like DJ Academics' love for Drake was kind of one way. And as much as I think DJ Academics could be a little bit of a cringe, a bit lame, a bit corny, I love how unapologetically a fan of Drake Academics is. So it's quite nice when people are fans of you, overly, like super fans, that the person who's the artist can you know reciprocate that love and acknowledge it some way right so it's good that drake is actually acknowledging academics and not making him feel like a groupie you know or some kind of obsessed stalker or something so big up drake for replying to academics in his comments so drake in the comments said the following um vis-a-vis -vis the fucking picture or the clip story of elliot wilson interviewing trippy red at rolling out miami drake said lol man um man shits on me for not coming to his platform for a second time. And now Elliot is 10 toes doing Yes Jules run up interviews at Rolling Loud. Just admit the youth took over, big dog. Right? Which is an incredibly funny and hilarious rant and rip into because he basically summarized all my thoughts in about five or six lines. And I love the fact that he threw in a random stray of fucking Yes Jules because Yes Jules is intrinsically tied to Rolling Loud and Miami and shit and it's success. She probably doesn't get her flowers for how much work that she done in, in terms of kind of propelling that platform or that festival, sorry, and giving it a good kind of, you know, bit of promotion and what. I'm sure they did well for her too, but she's just intrinsically tied to that whole thing. So him kind of throwing Yes Jules under the bus as well there or a little shot at her was fucking hilarious. But I love the fact that he called it out so eloquently you were there complaining about me lying down with this little white girl but here you are running around fucking rolling loud interviewing fucking trippy red and asking him fucking philosophical questions just after he, ended, he's, he spent fucking 40 minutes jumping up and down on stage if anything elliot wilson shouldn't be there if anything um you know like i said the, the likes of montreality and all those kids they should be holding a microphone and talking to fucking trippy red actual fans of his kids maybe within his age range right people may be born just around the same year that he was born in they should be there interviewing him not fucking dusty ass fucking elliot wilson but that goes to show how the scenes are entertainment industry by and large because in general these are roles that are quite coveted right and because it's a hard scene to get into once people do get in there they don't ever want to let it go which i understand because it's a really good job to have for life right the fact that you essentially get to talk into a microphone you get to be a fucking media figure and you basically get to pretend like you are an artist like you matter when you don't because i feel like a lot of these journalists a lot of these bloggers they get this uh, they get this idea because they talk about shit a lot that is somehow fucking an integral part of the fucking conversation when really i feel like the wide ma the, the majority of people just consume this content because there's content but they don't really give a fuck about the people we already saw a little bit of evidence um vis-a-vis -vis with um dj academics doing that fucking festival shit that he did right where no one turned up to his stage don't get me wrong maybe a horrible thing to compare it with because it's a festival and it was last minute and no he didn't really promote it but you got to see that 
even though he's got millions of followers on his platform, people just follow the platform because he happens to post the stuff that they're into. But they don't give a fuck about him personally to go to, to go to the point of like paying tickets. So I feel like a lot of these journalists and media guys, they get it twisted because they speak a lot about these guys. They feel like, oh yeah, we are part of the conversation too. They want to hear what we have to say. It's like, nah, sit down, bro. We care about the artists. We care about the music that they make. We care about the stuff that they fucking put out there and we enjoy it for what it is. But just to end it, Elliot Wilson saw that post from fucking Drake and said, oh, it's go time. Cool. As if he's going to fucking do anything. As if Elliot Wilson's going to fucking do anything. What's Elliot Wilson going to fucking do? Run the fade with fucking Drake. <laughs> because if you listen to an interview, that's even more losery than actually complaining about it. But regardless, I was happy to see fucking Elliot Wilson get dunked on because I've never been a fan of him. I've always thought he's a fucking donut. But again, like I said, there's a part of me that thinks the reason why I don't like Elliot Wilson is because I know that's a, there's a, I know that maybe I hate something in him that I kind of see myself that I could be prone to doing, right? The licking ass, the wanting of validation, the kind of wanting to be a bit of a gatekeeper, all that sort of shit. Maybe it's something that I see myself. I'm not really too sure. But either way, fuck Elliot Wilson and happy fucking Drake said what he said because then we got that reaction that we got from Elliot and I fucking loved it. 